Good morning and welcome to another adventure with James and Karen Fleming. Today we're off a walk to Ben Vein. We're going to park at Inverugulis Car Park, past the power station, walk along the track, past the switch station. Up, up, up. to the top of Ben Vane with a spot height of 916 metres and an absolutely cracking view. Hope you enjoy it. Good afternoon, we are now heading up to Ben Vane today and we are here at Loch Lomond and we are just setting off so let's see what today brings. So here's Sloy Power Station Little float plane up there, I don't know if you can make it out. Super excited today because I've got my bestel with me. Woohoo! Woo um, we're out walking in the, the um, Loch Lomond and Trossachs Park again today. Um, last weekend I went up and did Ben Lomond on my own, but today my bestel's here. So we've got Karen, Karen James, Karen James Adventures. And this time, the west side of Loch Lomond, and we're going to go up Ben Vane. Now, the problem we've got today, like last weekend, is the pea soup factor and the clag that's hanging over the sort of the hilltops. But hopefully, by the time we get up to the hilltop, the pea soup will have cleared up and we'll have an amazing view for all you guys. Hopefully. So, hopefully. And that's what I said last week. But it never happened. But it's going to happen today, so it's going to clear and we're going to have stunning views. That's the very optimistic um, view that we've got. So we'll check in back later, but just look at that. It's just, it's nice with the sort of low lying cloud, the craggy hills. Um, it's just nice when you've got some sort of scenery to look at instead of looking through pea soup. But super excited, we'll check in later. And um, see you soon. Hi guys, so we have now come up the hill and we've come to a bit of a junction as you can see. James is up there on his phone just making sure we go in the right direction. But there is a signpost, um, although I don't think it mentions the hills. Um, but wow, look at that. They're doing some kind of work. Um, but it's just lovely, absolutely gorgeous. Um, and as James says, he's super excited today, but I'm super excited too to be out. Okay, so we're a bit of a, a bit of a junction just now, but I don't know if you can see through the. There's a lot of construction work going on just now, but up there is the dam, and behind the dam is Loch Sloy. So that's Loch Sloy up there, but we're heading this way. Now I kid you not, I kid you not, I kid you not guys There is blue sky appearing, do you see the blue sky? And I'm convinced the blue sky is because Karen's with me today Of course, that's exactly what it is So we're progressing a little bit um, We've passed, uh, or a couple of past does that they've been up the hill too There's some of the construction work that's happening Um. Happy days, blue sky. If you look over there, there's um, the route up to Ben Vorlich, just sort of down there. In fact, I can see maybe two or three people down there at the bottom, looking to take the strenuous route all the way up to Ben Vorlich. But we're still on our way up to Ben Vane, and <laughs> it's up, 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 up. Wifey, comments? Um. Yeah, so we done James's detour as we do, and we got here eventually. We got onto the pass. There's Ben Lomond over there. Bit of clag over it, bit of pea soup. Ben Borlock walk over there. <laughs> and we're going up. Up, 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 up. 
It's just great seeing all this mist and clag and cloud rolling in. So a few minutes ago we could see the dam face and now you just can't see it at all. Um, it's fantastic, isn't it? Loch Lomond, man. What a place, the National Park. Lots of things to do and keep you occupied. Karen, comments? It is, as James says, see watching this mist coming in, it's just, it's amazing because now look, you can't even see the water down there, just where, it's just, and we're nearly at the top. And we've got egg sandwiches, they better not be squashed. <laughs> Are we nearly at the top though? That's always no, the we're question, not. we're not, we're not. Magnificent, so that's the south end of Loch Lomond with the, all the big islands down there grouped together. So we've made it 916 metres high and we're at the top of Ben Vane. Um, it was a scramble to get up the last part. Um, it's going to definitely be a bum job on the way down, but um, we're here. Fantastic. Oh, that is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Last word's going down. Um, fantastic day so far, and I'll speak to you at the bottom. My sticks are on my backpack. I'm not using them on the way down, just in case, just in case. So we're going down, down, down. And there's still people going up, so I think it's about, let me just check the time. It's 10 past three and there's still people going up. So we've passed five people going up at 10 past three. But I've made comment about the clag and the mist. And do you know something? It actually brings more atmospheric conditions and and just loveliness about it. The, the south end of Loch Lomond's down there, there's Ben Lomond, lovely. It's the first time I've seen the, the peak being clear all day. It brings something, a different dynamic to the day. So there's Ben Vane, there's the sort of top just up there. There's beautiful Cairn. So great day out, great day out. Karen had her egg roll. Did you have one or two, baby? It's just a zigzag path all the way down, as it is up, obviously. Um, so rocky. Strip tease, two 
hot. Time to heat up. Oh, good. Oh! <laughs> I could shake your legs. I'm just saying, that's high, but that in the top here bit, that's a full summit. It's up and beyond that. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure Karen's right too. I tell you what though, there's a bit of a a difference in the conditions just now. As we go down, we've kind of lost almost all our height for all the scenic views. But the wind's died down really quite a lot, I feel. And there's a different sort of presence in the walk that's just idyllic. It's Goldilocks, it's just right. Not too hot, not too cold, not too wet, blah, blah, blah. It's Goldilocks. We're in that Goldilocks period of the walk. All the conditions, for me anyway, are just right. Aye, there's a stillness. A fantastic stillness I'm feeling. Do you feel it, Cam? Yeah, I get it. You get what I'm talking about? So there you go, come out walking or do something that you can lose your sort of self and your mind but give your senses some something different to tune into or tune out of. And now that we're just coming out of this little hollow, the wind's picking up in my left ear. There's a river in the left. The atmospheric conditions change. Subtly. It's quite nice. Have you felt that before, wifey? I haven't felt that before, but I have to, I, I get what you're talking about. Wow. Oh. Now the walk home. Amazing. Fantastic. And it's all downhill still. Right, that's us came off the actual trail to take us up to Ben Vane. We're back on the, um, like a double vehicle trail type road type thing. I'll tell you something, do you, do you think that was tough? That was tough. I think that was tough. That I think was that, a scramble. That was, that was. Half, half of it I'm just scrambling it was so and green. Short, sharp, shock, steep, all those things. Satisfying. Satisfying. So, that's us, done Ben Vane. Oh, what a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. We're on the way, we're walking back to the car now. Um don't know, maybe a couple of kilometres, James. I but, think you're right, about a couple of k's. But we're all downhill, which is good. And it's quite a good, it's not stony, it's like a proper a road, maybe. Anyway, it's quite good. Um, so yeah, back home for, I'm going to say bubbles, but I don't think we're having bubbles tonight. Um, but we're definitely having a uh, India. <laughs> We've earned that. There will be bubbles tonight because I'm getting a bottle of bubbles. I like oh, my bubbles. Yes, <laughs> we've earned our bubbles and we've earned our takeaway Indian, so we're looking forward to that. Um, just looking back, wow, check that out, check that out. guys here we are at the end the banks of Loch Lomond as they say um, so that's us completed we done 15 kilometers and it took us six and a half hours it was a fantastic walk it was it was tough I must admit it was really really tough but a brilliant day fantastic company with James and to finish it down at the water is just amazing I actually might just dip my feet in the water just to cool them down Okay, so Karen's just um, getting her feet wet just now, so remember, run, bike, hike, walk, do something 
that floats your boat, go out and get active, because at the end of the day, none of us are getting out here alive, guys, so we'll see you in the next trip. Hasta luego.